So this all started with me seeing some pictures of some people with fancy orange soap and I decided that I had to try it. And to step it up a notch, I decided to make it nice and moisturizing and creamy by making it with goat's milk. So let me walk you all through what I did to make my own fancy orange soaps.
Okay, so let's talk about what went well with this particular soap recipe. There were a lot of things that went well with this. Color, the trays, um, the scent, even though it's just orange, but maybe the fancy design makes me feel like it smells better than just regular orange. But I am going to talk about the colors. The color came out exactly as I wanted. What I was looking for was not anything that was a huge contrast in orange, but rather something that would give the color a little more depth. I just didn't want it to be a flat orange. And so I was able to achieve that by using that paprika powder. Because the orange slices and the orange zest gave more of a rustic feel, I did want the soap batter to match it nicely. Now for this batch of soap, actually I kind of struggled coming up with what did not go well. So instead I'm gonna do what did not go as expected. It's actually a positive thing though. And that is that my soap batter gave me plenty of time to work with it. Thankfully, I was able to manage the trace thickness, which is important because I needed that extra time to be able to split the batter and add the paprika powder between pours. And as for what I learned from this soaping experience, dehydrated citrus fruit really are as beautiful as I expected them to be in a soap. I actually dehydrated some lime slices and some lemons as well. So I do have these to use for future soaps. My kids thought it was pretty cool seeing the soap that had the dehydrated fruit in it. I just need to make sure I'm reminding them to not eat it. You know I have to keep reminding them about that. If this soap recipe looks cool to you, feel free to use it. I've included the full recipe for you in the video description below. And if you try it, let me know. Did it work well for you? Did it not work well for you? Hopefully you find it useful. As always, thank you so much for watching and please like, subscribe if you'd like to see some of my upcoming content and share if you know anyone who is interested in natural soaps and in particular making their own natural soaps at home. Until the next time, goodbye. Thank you.